two. Lisa McGee, Derry Girls. Oh my God, I really wasn't expecting this. And lads, honestly, I know we've been here a while. I am Irish, I can speak quickly. Um, <laughs> thank you so much, this is really special. Uh, <clears throat> I've written this on my phone and the writing's gone really tiny, so bear with me. Um, this is really special, I guess I'm, I'm grand. Um, given the other talented writers in this category, The Dry, Motherland and Big Boys are amazing shows and I, I promise I know how lucky I am to be standing here. Um, thank you BAFTA, I've always wanted to say that. Um, I'd also like to, to thank a few other people really quickly, our amazing cast and crew, our execs, Liz Lewin and Caroline Letty. I hope I'm still working with both of you until they pull the, hit, the pen out of my hand. Um, the brilliant Mike Lennox and Brian Falconer, our director and producer, my agent Nick Barron, and, and also his wonderful assistant Nicole, who puts up with my struggle to understand simple things like Google Maps and Zoom and never complains. Um, Jimmy Mulville, Hattrick Productions, NI Screen, and of course, the force for good that is Channel 4. Um, I would need a, I'd need a separate speech to, to thank them for everything they've done for me. I'd like to thank my mother, father, my family and friends in Derry. Without you, I'd have no material. Um, and lastly, but most importantly, my wonderful husband, Toby, and the two funniest people we know, our sons, Joseph and Sean. I really, really love being a writer. Um, it's all I've ever wanted to do. When I was little, I thought I'd be a novelist because that's what Jessica Fletcher did and I was obsessed with murder she wrote. Um, back then though, I remember thinking, I wish I could write a TV show. I didn't know how to make that happen. I didn't know anyone who worked in television. It all seemed so mysterious. It seemed so far outside my world. So I'd just like to say, if you're a, wrong, a young writer that's thinking some, something similar, I promise you it can happen. It will be difficult and frustrating and painful at times, but it can happen. And I'd just like to end with a very short quote from another of my favorite television shows, Columbo. This episode was written by Robert Malcolm Young and Columbo's talking to the president of what's supposed to be Mensa, uh, a man who obviously believes his superior, superior intellect could easily outwit this chaotic blue collar cop in a crumpled raincoat. Columbo's talking about how he made detective, but I think he could easily be talking about screenwriting and um, this is what he says. He says, in school, there were a lot of smarter kids. And when I first joined the force, sir, they had some very keep clever people there. And I could tell it wasn't going to be easy making detective as long as they were around. But I figure if I worked harder than they did, if I put on more time, if I read the books, if I kept my eyes open, maybe I could make it happen. And I did, and I really love my work, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah.